Hey Taurus, thank you so much for joining me for your December Terrascope. Happy holidays to you. I hope that whatever you're celebrating and with whomever you are celebrating, that you spend this month really surrounded by love, by things to be thankful for, by people who adore you and see you for who you really are. And for those of you who are bad like me and are still holiday shopping, or maybe you have somebody particularly, you know, offbeat and unique to buy for, I have linked gift cards from my shop below. So if you want to buy somebody a reading or an astrological report or let them pick out their own thing, you can totally do that this month. Happy holidays! Ah, oh, I'm excited. Okay. And Taurus, I'm excited to see what's ahead for you. As you know, I always, um, or if you've been here before, you know, and if you haven't, hi, <laughs> I'm Madeline. I always forget to say that. I'm Madeline, hi. Um, I always meditate and pray and shuffle, you know, do like a pre-shuffle before we even get on here. And <sighs> Spirit's giving me this impression of like a like you standing at a precipice, standing at the edge of a cliff, looking over, looking at the water, looking at the earth, you know, looking at the the landscape below, kind of making a plan, a lot of options. And as I'm laying out cards here, this is completely getting backed up. Um, Spirit's like, yeah, a lot of options. Let me just show you. And I'll pen down in just a second, Taurus, and show you your cards. But uh, your mind's a little bit muddled. That's okay. That's okay. That's what we're here for. I'm going to figure it out. Okay, Spirit, what does Taurus need to know this month? For their highest good, always and only for their highest good, Spirit. What does Taurus need to know? Taurus sun, Taurus moon, Taurus rising in the month of December. Ha <laughs> ha. Wow. Oh my god. I love this. I love your card so far. A lot of wands. Okay, fire and water so far, steam heat, steam heat. Did I not say you're standing at the very top looking at what's ahead of you, the hermit. Okay, 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 okay. I see where this is going. I see where this is going, Taurus. And so do you. You got your little lantern. Okay, Taurus. Taurus, sun, moon, and rising. What do they need to know in December, spirit? What do they need to know? Holiday season, a lot of stuff going on in December. It's a very emotional period for all of us. Many different reasons. Wands, 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 Taurus. A lot of thoughts, ideas, inspiration, excitement. Wow. Taurus, just a couple more please, Spirit, for Taurus. Taurus, sun, moon, and rising. Taurus. Sun, moon, and rising. What do they need to know, spirit? What's the lesson? What's the challenge? What's the influence that they most need to know about in the month of December for their highest good? So many wands! My goodness! Okay. So, Taurus. You have a lot of plans. <laughs> a lot of plans and a lot of feelings. Um, spirit, just use the word execute. Like a lot of things you want to execute this month. Um, pun intended. <laughs> Don't be alarmed by the death card. This is not about physical death. This is not about harm uh, coming to you. This is about the definitive end to a chapter. So for those of you that do feel like, my God, I've been trying to make this decision forever. And it must be really important, Taurus, because it's not in your nature to spend a lot of time um, indecisively. You take your time to make a decision, but this feels to me a little bit like, I feel this way today. Shit, no, today it feels a little different. Okay, and then the next day, well, this happened, and now I have this new input, and now it seems like this. I want to give you some reassurance that I feel like in December, a lot of you are going to get a message, a message, some kind of confirmation one way or the other. Like, oh my god, this is such a no that it's like, I can't ignore what a no this is. And for some of you, this is gonna be the death. Like, okay, we're done. We're done with this. Like, I get it now. I really get it definitively. I'm good. Um, and for, for others of you, it's gonna be an absolute yes. 
and it's like, oh, okay, like, sweet, these, you know, these seven cups, these seven thoughts of what I could have or what I could do or what I want have been floating around and, and just kind of, this is muddy waters, Taurus, you know, this is like, there's so much on my mind, I can't even get it straight. And then right after that comes riding in the Knight of Cups. I feel like this is a very sweet, gentle, sensitive, younger person in your life. If they are not chronologically younger than you, like this could even be for, okay, this is the part where I should say Taurus. These are general readings, as you know, of course. Um, so because it's not like a personal one-on-one -on -one reading, Spirit does give me a lot of messages. And so I want you to trust your own intuition and follow your intuition's thread through the reading, okay? So, as I was saying, what I was going to say was, for some of you, this is your child. That's why, you know, general readings, Taurus, you may not have a kid, and this may be your friend, who is, like I said, they may be chronologically younger than you, or it may be that they, um, they're they very impetuous and sweet, and they act young, you know, young at heart, youthful in energy. But this is someone very... They live in their feelings, and they may be Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, or have one of those signs rising. Sometimes, you know, they might be an Aries, but like, oh, they got that undercover Cancer rising or Cancer moon, and then like, oh, that's where all that, like, sensitivity comes from. Um, yeah, you're getting, you're going, okay, you know what, I should show you your cards. All right, here comes a lot of face, Taurus. Pardon my face. Okay. All right. Can you see? You can see. Okay. Okay. Here's you standing at the crossroads, looking at all these options. What do I want? It seems like you've built something already, Taurus. You have something really good going for you. In one hand, you're holding the world, and your other hand is open. And it's kind of open in this unspoken kind of question of like, and then, hmm, like what now? The world wants to give you something. The confirmation that you're looking for of whether you should step forward on this new path, like, okay, I've already, you know, for example, for some of you, this is your career. Like I have invested a lot in this position, you know, I got these degrees or I got the certification or I worked, you know, for two years and had to get the experience in order to step up into this promotion and it's been great, but I see something else out there. I'm tempted. Tempted by the fruit of another. <laughs> oh, Taurus. Um, I feel... Again, general readings, Taurus, so if something doesn't resonate with you, recognize that it's for another Taurus and like never ever should, a, you know, your free will is everything. So nothing I say here should upset your apple cart if you've already got a, like a way of going in mind. But I do feel strongly, I mean, look at this, two wands plus one wand equals three wands. And this is like upside down for you, but for me, the reading is going in this direction. My God. Here comes the confirmation that you can do this new thing. That you can set off on this new path. This is, I'm looking at the path and I'm thinking about it. This is, my ships are coming in, let's go. What time does it arrive? We're hopping on the boat or I'm driving the damn boat and we're leaving. But you're going somewhere. And I feel like you're going alone. Spirit just said some of you are traveling alone might be business, like um, maybe you're leaving the people that you, you know, that you love for a while in order to go take care of business. Um, and for some of you, it is like, you know what, this relationship has been, you know, wonderful and it's taught me so much, but if I keep being tempted by the fruit of another, if I keep looking outward and holding open my hand, eventually somebody is going to come in and offer you something, Taurus, and it, I can't help but think some of you might be moving toward new people. No matter what, there's a very charismatic, attractive figure in your life this month. Okay, Taurus, this is what Spirit is saying. 
is the grass greener on the other side? You know, as they say, the grass is greener where you water it. Is there something that you haven't been taken care of? Is there something that you have been, you know, you've been disappointed in how it's turned out or, you know, kind of disenchanted by what's around you and therefore you just kind of throw your hands in the air or set your chin on your fists and say, meh, like, look at this bullshit in front of me, like these three spilled cups. My life was supposed to look like this, this portrait of the four beautiful golden cups, you know, impossibly fountain, fountaining magical water from a lotus blossom. But look over your shoulder. When you're ready, if you will sit up and take notice, somebody, hello, is delivering you a new cup. Somebody's pouring you a new glass, Taurus. So really, really strongly it's coming in that a lot of you are leaving. Leaving a job, leaving a place, going to seek your fortune. Broaden your horizons, travel. I'm really feeling travel for a lot of you. I'm seeing a lot of charisma, excitement, inspiration. Dreams are important to you this month, Taurus. And by that I mean, you know, those things that you long for. Those things that fire you up and activate you. Because wands are the spirit, are the creative energy. Like that impetus, that catalyst from inside. I want to encourage you. For those of you Taurians who are disappointed, disenchanted, like I said, with this Four of Cups, who have worked so hard, who have gone through so much. I mean, this is the guy who has been through all the battles, all those weapons you see behind him. Those are all the opponents that he's come up against. And yes, he's battered and bruised, but he's the winner. He's the one who brought home all these trophies and arranged them so that he'd never forget and so that other people would also recognize. Look at what I've been through. Look at what I'm worth. Look at what I'm capable of. Don't lose yourself, Taurus. That's a rare thing to happen to you. You're, you know, you're an earth sign. You're grounded. You know yourself. But sometimes we have to, you know, we get to know new parts of ourselves. And that can be a little disturbing for you as a fixed sign to be like, well, where did this urge come from? Well, where did this dream come from? I was fine. I had built up what I had and it was good. So why this crazy new urge to do a, a, otherwise? Why this boredom with what I've created? Why this desire for something new? Well, let me reassure you, Taurus, it's because you're leveling up. When it starts feeling like an up uphill climb in our life, it's be, you know a struggle, an uphill climb means we're moving up means we're questioning ourselves, means we're questioning the status quo. And that's what always leads you to more, to better. Hello. You have worked really hard. And you've learned a lot. So for those of you, again, who feel dejected or disenchanted by like, I worked for this so hard and you're telling me like I have to go do something else. Well, no, A, I'm not telling you you have to go do something else. Your free will is everything. But I'm telling you that it's out there for you and that I can see the temptation and they want you to know, Spirit wants you to know, your work is not lost. Every experience, everything that you went through, you learned something from it. That is the meaning of this card. Every battle made you more, you know, it tested you, but it made you smarter. It made you better. It made you more capable. It's not wasted time. It's not wasted passion. For some of you, though, the end of a chapter. And you know, it's the end of the year. Saturn's moving into Capricorn. <laughs> um, this isn't the Capricorn card, but the Hermit always reminds me a bit of Capricorn because, you know, they're a bit solo. They're ascending the, the mountain, the little goats. And with Saturn moving into Capricorn, it is time for a hard look and a hard level up. Don't feel worried if you feel the pressure. That's what Saturn does. He brings the pressure. He crystallizes or crushes what we want. And if something crushes underneath the weight of Saturn's pressure, then it wasn't going to withstand in the long run anyway. 
And if the pressure crystallizes this dream of yours, well, then you know it's meant to be and it's forever and it's lasting, okay? Don't be afraid of the pressure this month, Taurus, that's pushing you, pushing you, pushing you to move in a new direction, to be adaptable. This is the Two of Pentacles. This is about balance. Your money looks good this month. Um, I'm not worried. This says, though, you will be kind of playing with it, and hello again. It's holidays, like, oh, okay, I'll put a little money there, or you know what, instead of buying this person a gift, I'm going to make them one, or whatever. But I want you to notice, okay, so Two of Pentacles, right, and lots of beautiful flowing imagery in this card, but also, when you turn it to the side, <laughs> Lemniscate, right, infinity symbol. And even right side up, it's the number eight, which in numerology is wealth, money, power. Um, there is more coming to you, not less. Even though a lot of you may feel like you're suddenly um, demoted, is the, is the word spirit used? But that mean, like, what I mean by that is, this is the thing that you've already developed. This is the, th like, oops, I'm spatially challenged. This globe is the job or the relationship or the, the moment in life, the major in college spirit just said for some of you, that you've already worked on and honed and gotten. And you're being pushed to start something new, to be a page rather than a queen. You're already a queen. You're already at the top of your game. Whatever your gender, however you identify, uh, queens and kings are not about gender in the tarot. You're already a masterful creator, a charismatic leader. So why should you be afraid of um, stepping into a position where you have something to learn? Where you do, you know, act like the student. A message is coming to you, an invitation, Taurus. Again, I'm feeling for some of you travel. But it's an invitation to step into kind of new waters. New flames? I don't know. <laughs> It's an opportunity to become more of yourself by being kind of a neophyte again, kind of a student, a beginner again. Don't be afraid of that. Adopt that student mentality. It's going to benefit you this month. It's going to be easier to go through changes when you're somebody who is okay with the fact that you're going to be learning new things every day, that things change all the time. You know, cliche, the only constant is change. But I feel for you this month, Taurus, overall, it's wonderful change. It's inspiring. It's exciting. It's taking you in a new direction. It's moving you to upgrade and up level and to really know yourself better. Take that time to journal, to pray, to just be by yourself, whatever, you know, activity is meditation. Um, but I do feel for a lot of you reflection, like journaling, get your thoughts out. That will help you get them in order for those of you that have been doing, like they said, kind of the indecisive thing, get your head in order. Seek your own wisdom, okay? Okay, all right. I want to look at your fiercely focused spread. So for those of you who haven't been here, this is the part of the reading where I just do a short five-card spread looking at a theme for your month along with a concrete action step for kind of the, you know, Mm, body, mind, heart, soul, we could say, for your, you know, money and career, your relationships, the mental realm, and then the, the spiritual, the creative. Okay, and for this part, Taurus, I'm gonna bring you back. I'm gonna bring you back. Here comes all the face. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, all right, Taurus. So let's look. Theme for your month. What does Taurus need to know most? Be aware of or embody in December for their highest good, for their highest good. Taurus in December. Wow. Okay. Lovers, crossroads. This is like, okay, so minor arcana, those like two of wands, two of pentacles, blah, blah, blah. Those are like little everyday things, right? Major arcana, like the lovers, the hermit, etc. This is like destiny stuff. So this is like the leveled up version of that two of wands of like, I'm at the crossroads, what do I wanna do? Lovers is definitely often about love, but really at the heart of it, it's about a choice. Are you going to pursue what really lights you up? I'm not talking about like, oh, I'm quitting my nine to five tomorrow and I'm gonna like write the great American novel and boy, I hope someone pays my bills. Like, no. 
but I am talking about are you living a passionate life? Are you living a life that lights you up or are you kind of staying in your lane, quote unquote, and like, well, I'm getting along and it's fine and it's not scary and I feel like I know what I'm doing, which is totally okay. No judgment, like we all gotta do what makes us feel good. But this would not be coming in if it weren't like there's something calling to you. There's something summoning you and it's a choice. So it's your choice to make Taurus, but um, change is good. That's what I'm feeling for you in December. Change is good and change is necessary. When you level up, the world has to level up with you or else you start to feel stuck. You start to feel like, ugh, like what used to be like good friction. That's how I describe it to people often like regarding relationships that used to be like, oh, this is so nice. Like I'm so warm and so soft. And eventually over time, like, ah, and then like, oh my God, like get away from me. There's friction and then there's sandpaper, okay? So don't let yourself feel trapped, right? It's your choice. It's always your choice, Taurus. Nobody has trapped you. So now let's look at the physical, your money, your career, your finances, the earthly aspect, your element, Taurus, for December. Beautiful. Okay. King of Pentacles. This is you, Taurus. Look at all, like, look at all the potential. You know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. You're a master of your money. When they were talking about being adaptable, that two of pentacles, this is you. <laughs> I was going to say this is your element, but it's also literally your element. But you are in your element when it comes to money and planning and plotting out how you're going to get what you want, how you're going to build what you want. You don't have to make this decision all at once. The King of Pentacles is a master planner. Like, check out his soldier boot sticking out of his fancy dress robes. Like, this guy did not start out just like a, you know, soft-handed king. This guy's a warrior. This guy is a soldier. He knows how to get what he how to get what he wants. He knows how to strategize. So be the boss of your life this month. Be, you know, when it comes to your budget, act like a king of pentacles. Like, well, we need to invest more in this because we need more wealth. And if we're going to build up this kingdom, then we're going to need more of this and that. And maybe I need to do more of this because this is making more money. Be organized. Be industrious. And see the big picture. See the big, big, look. like, take the long view, okay? And then plot it out. Don't have to make it all at once. The King of Pentacles is very patient. That's how he got to be a king, okay? All right. Now let's look at the mental. What are you talking about, hearing about, experiencing in the mental realm? What's going on in your mind? What does Taurus need to know for their highest good, or step they need to take for their highest good in the month of December? Ah, oh, this actually makes me happy, okay? Look, swords by their nature are often like the most kind of like, ooh, <laughs> disturbing in the deck. Um, but this is not a bad thing. I really feel like on the contrary, Taurus. This is just more confirmation that you don't need to be afraid to move on. You don't need to be afraid to move forward. On first glance, this card is very grim. This girl's all alone, desolate landscape, eight swords, tied up, blindfolded, what the fuck? But she's alone. Nobody's like holding her at gunpoint. And look at those restraints. Like she could pretty much just shrug them right off remove that blindfold and she's not even trapped within those swords. You can go, Taurus. This is about self-imposed fears. This is about like, what if I can't? What if I can't? And to stay here blindfolded and telling myself that it's because I'm trapped. I, it's, I'm tied up. I can't go. I'm blindfolded. How would I even? No more of that, Taurus. You can when you want to and if you want to. And if you want to stay in the dark a little while longer and think about it, that's okay too. This is not a place of judgment. Spirit, God, the big good, whatever you want to call it, loves you unconditionally. But they're always going to tell you what's for your highest good. And they're saying, it's okay, don't be afraid. Okay? Okay. And now, Taurus, let's look at your heart. What's going on in your emotions? going on in your relationships? What does Taurus need to know for their highest good in the month of December? Spirit. Mm -hmm -hmm. Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups. There is someone very sweet 
and intuitive and compassionate and wise that you trust, Taurus. Who is the Queen of Cups in your life? Again, could be a man. It doesn't have to be a woman. I'm going to say she just because it's a queen. Who is the person that they, like, this person could be, like, intuitive or, or empathic to the point of psychic. They may even do something like read tarot cards or do Reiki or do some kind of healing, even a psychologist. Um, but I usually see the Queen of Cups as more of an alternative healer. Go to this person. This person can provide you some non-judgmental, like gentle reflection and allow you to explore the depths of what you're feeling. This person can help you navigate those depths, okay? This is a good friend of yours. Um, might be a woman. Generally, I'm feeling more of a feminine energy. Um, but this person won't judge you for not knowing and for being in like deeper waters than usual, for feeling like you're in muddy waters. This person's not going to judge you, okay? They can be very helpful to you. And finally, let's see what's lighting you up, Taurus. What's exciting you, activating you in the month of December? What do they need to know, Spirit, for their highest good? Same card, different deck. You ready to go, Taurus? Your ships are coming in. Are you driving the ships or are you getting on? But either way, something's coming to you or you're going somewhere. The invitation is coming if it's not already here. Looks like you're getting a trip for the holidays, even if it comes after Christmas and Hanukkah and Kwanzaa and all that awesome stuff. I'm excited for you, Taurus. I really thank you for being here. I would love, love, love to hear from you in the comments if this resonates or if you have questions. I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. I really hope you have like a fantastically wonderful holiday season and a wonderful new year, of course. But I'll see you before then, I hope. All right, Taurus. Have a wonderful month. Good luck. Peace.